Hi, Aaron Hendon, Christine and Company, Keller Williams. Welcome back. Here's step one of getting your home sold for the most money in the least amount of time. First thing you want to do is you got to start thinking about this in the right frame of mind. Get the right perspective. Create the correct paradigm for this. All right, and it's maybe a little bit different for than what you think it is. Okay, the correct paradigm for this is you're going to be the CEO of a company that's selling a commodity in an existing marketplace. A lot of people approach selling their home like I'm selling my home. Except, you know what? No one wants to buy your home. Sorry, that's just the truth. People want to buy a house that they can turn into their home. Think about it. When you went to buy, your, when you went to buy what's now your home, it wasn't your home when you bought it. It was a house. You turned it into your home. How long did that take? Three months, six months, a year before it became your home. You're not selling your home. No one wants your home. They want their home and they need a blank slate. They need a house to make into their home. And you, so that's the first piece is you're not selling your home. You're selling a commodity. You're selling something other people are selling too. It doesn't matter how little inventory there is. There's other people selling the same commodity. You've got to get used to that idea. You're going to be in the marketplace. There's going to be a competition. You're competing for buyers. Now, if there's low inventory, you don't have to compete very hard. But if there's high inventory, you've got to compete really hard. So the point is, you, and you're going to be in charge. You're the CEO. And you need to come to this with a plan to attract the right buyer and have that buyer pay enough to cover the expense and hassle that it takes to sell it so that you can make some money. All right, so those are the two pieces of the plan. Attract the right buyer and have them pay enough to make it worth your time. Now, if you have a, a lot of people do, a lot of people have a, a thing on being a salesperson. No problem. Then you want to hire a salesperson. If you're going to, if you have a thing about sales, then you want for sure want to hire an agent to cover this because that's what an agent is. An agent's going to cover the marketing plan and the sales plan and the negotiation and all that stuff about selling your home. So if you have anything on it, like I don't want to do sales, then for sure you want to hire a real estate agent. And given you're the CEO, it's critical. You would never be the CEO of a company and hire people without interviewing them to see their track record for performing in the task you're hiring them for. You would never expect the CEO to, oh yeah, I like you, I'm going to hire you. for No, that's insane. You want to find out the track record of the person you're hiring because you don't probably have a way of judging their marketing plan, but you have an easy way of judging their track record. How much over asking price do they get reliably for selling homes in the area? You want to ask that question. You got to be the CEO. Okay. You can't just, oh, I like you. You're nice. Let's hire you. Okay. I mean, you could be, and then you'll wind up getting what you get. All right. But the first piece is you got to think like a CEO that's selling a commodity in a marketplace. All right. Once you get your head around that, then you're ready for step two, which is figuring out how much your home is worth and what you're going to sell it for. Okay, but we'll get to step two in a minute. Get your head around. You're going to be CEO of someone selling a commodity, not my home, a commodity, a house in a marketplace where there's competition. There's other people selling houses. Okay, there's other ways people could spend their six, seven, five, whatever it is, hundred thousand dollars. There's other people they could spend, give that to. And you want to find out how to track the right one. Okay, that's step one. Get your head around that, and then we'll get ready for step two, and that's how to price your home. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm.